Good luck, everyone, and hit parade autographed hockey puck break. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Scott's trying to defend his title. <laughs> it's pretty, it's a, it's a rematch. <laughs> it's officially a rematch here. Round two. Begin. <laughs> Good luck. Lucky number seven on your mark. Get set. Go. Scott's got the blue suede shoes on. Oh, my. <laughs> blue suede shoes trucking. Here comes, oh, baby blue jersey. Kyle. Kyle did it, man. Oh, my gosh. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Kyle had the eye of the tiger. <laughs> Kyle had the eye. Well, there you have it. That is the end result of a little race action. Let's start with the box break. Here we go. I'm going to bring it over to random.org where we will do some randoming. Each list will go through seven times. We'll stack the list up side by side. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Hope. <clears throat> all right, all right. Lucky number seven. First random is complete. Hey, Frank G. First random is in the books. Oops. All right. Seven times. Lucky number seven. And now you can see your team in the hockey puck break. Good luck, everybody, in this puck. Let's hit something big. Ho. Oh, wait a second. We're short of owner name. How are we short one owner name? I'm going to find out whose name it is. And I'm going to stick it right there. That's pretty random. So that never happens, but that's very unusual. But it just seems like the way to fix it is just to take who, whose ever owner name is missing and put it there. 
that's got to be it's only one name so it actually is whosoever name it is it's supposed to be there but I'm wondering if when I copied and pasted it in here was it did I just miss the name because on the copy and paste I'm gonna have to rewind the video feed and find out real quick let's say everything's recorded so let's, re let's take a look back let's do a quick replay and see if I can spot it okay here's the owner name random and there's 32 in there so uh, the, the missing name is going to show up on the bottom of this list. So we actually have it all figured out. And then Frank G, your name. Some, Yep, there it is. Look at that. It just didn't get copied and pasted. So <laughs> nothing like a little instant replay action here. All right, let's put Frank G's name where it's supposed to go and have that fixed. So let's start the box break. Wow. Oh. All right, good luck everybody, man. This is going to be a great hit. I can feel it. Coming out in the puck. What's it going to be? Ho! Oh. Autograph Hockey Puck. Big Hit Boulevard. Let's go to Big Hit Boulevard. And hit Parade. Got some seals. Got to break these seals open. And see what we can see. Mm -mm. All right. It's Hit Parade. Autographed hockey puck. Wishing you the very best in our box. Break of this. It is one puck popping. What's it going to be? Ho. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is a Buffalo Sabres autographed puck. Who is that? Oh, my goodness. Who's got Buffalo? Oh, my. Who's got Buffalo on this list? It's Kyle. Congratulations, Kyle. Well, there you go. Look at there. He's even drawn a saber on there. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, Frank G's a Buffalo Sabres fan, so you know he likes this thing. He's got a saber on there? That's right, Scott G. You're absolutely right. Nice.
Oh, he's drafted by Minnesota. First round, 18th overall. Wow. 2014 was the year he was drafted. So he's still jamming. You can see his whole history there. There was a trade with the Golden Knights back in the uh, back a couple years ago. Yep. Oh yeah. That was a very memorable trade. Big, big moment there in the history of of everything. Yeah, that's a great hit. Nice going. Congratulations, man. Kyle. Great autograph puck. We're going to get ready for more greatness around here. We're going to pull some other great things.